busy week for you, obviously here, um, capped off a, a nice home stretch two and two, just kind of overall thoughts about the week as you, as you got the season underway. Uh, I can't really think too much right now. I, it's, uh, it was a good test for the body. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, to be honest with you, I had, you needed a little extra cup of coffee this morning, getting up thinking we had a four o'clock game. Um, you know, I'm definitely starting to feel it in the legs and stuff. Kind of reminds me back when we played three and threes in the in the, back in the day in the minors. But um, you know, I, everyone pulled through. Uh, we had secondary support, and um, I'm excited to hopefully sleep in tomorrow. We'll go next to Jacob Stoller. Go ahead, Jake. Hey Tyler, I just wanted to know if you could expand on what the process has been like uh, playing in the AHL for an affiliate of, of uh, an organization that you don't belong to in particular. What's that experience been like? Uh, I think it's been um, kind of similar to most send downs after training camp. Um, if anything, you know the the Moose have really opened up their arm uh, their arms for me. Um, been very supportive. You know, I really thank I really want to thank like the coaching staff for really allowing me to kind of play my style of game. I know it's a development league and, you know, I know it can be tough because uh, you want to kind of establish a foundation for these young guys about, you know, not robo not to play robotic, but a lot of getting pucks in and, you know, they're, they're allowing me to be creative. And I think that's something that um, has always uh, helped me succeed in, in, in my game. And they're allowing me to kind of uh, find my find my game again. Is it hard to kind of go into a leadership role with a group that you're not too familiar with? No, this isn't hard at all. If anything, uh, this is the dream, you know, honestly, for me. Uh, you know, when you're up top, it's, I think one of the hardest things as a younger player is, you know, you're, you think you're, you're with the best players in the world. And, um, you know, when, you, when you're in the minors, you know, you, you get to see kind of players uh, establish themselves, establish their games. And um, for me, it's fun. Uh, I've really enjoyed being the last couple of years playing in the minors and, you know, if guys have questions or if they want to learn something new, or if I can even just from watching, you know, if I, if I, uh, they can learn something from me, um, you know, it's, it's about, uh, finding that purpose. And I, I've, I've loved it. Um, obviously I want to be in the NHL as much as possible, but, uh, like I said, this is, uh, we're pretty lucky to be, uh, here playing. We'll circle back to Jeff Hamilton. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Tom, I understand you haven't played a road game yet, but just that you've, you've kind of seen what this season's going to look like, you know, under the COVID-19 and, and just all the, obviously, the um, protocols and everything. Is there anything you can, you have to, you, that you have taken from this week that you know you're going to have to do different, whether that's preparation, whether that's just, you know, compared to a typical season? Um, no, I think it's been, you know, I think they've done a great job. Uh, you know, I wouldn't really agree to the four games in five days, but I, th I think they've done a great job of getting the season going. And obviously the most important thing is making sure that the, the players develop and, and just play hockey. And, um, you know, to be able to pull this off, obviously there's bigger things going on in the world, but to be able to pull this off, this is, uh, and, and to pull it off safely, you know, they've done a great job with that. And, you know, um, as long as you follow the rules and hopefully we can continue playing. And I think being on the road will be exciting. Um, you know, a little change of pace, but, uh, you know, kind of looking forward to uh, whatever, whatever's next. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah. We'll finish off with Austin Siragusa. Go ahead, Austin. Tyler, you know, skating with Bobby Lynch uh, the past couple of games, that awesome pass you gave to him to score his goal. He's also on a four-game point streak. What have you seen from him these past couple of games and um, just what, I guess, is leading to the chemistry with that line so far this season? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, Bobby's... Uh, He's got some size and some grit. Uh, he's got those young legs. He moves them well, um, and he's got a shot. So, you know, when you're playing with, uh, depending on who you play with on your wings, you know, you want to try and create space for them, whether that's getting the puck up the middle and drawing one guy or drawing two guys and then being able to pop it out. Um, you know, with Bobby I, on that last goal, like I said to him after, we're, you know, it takes time to read each other, but it, it's it's been a quick, uh, we've been able to establish a, a, a foundation, all three of us. Um, and like I said earlier, it's just about finding open ice and, uh, you know, he comes, he's got a great attitude, comes to the rink with a smile and, um, you can't ask for better line mates than that.